Well, out in the van, I bought uh, a while back. I had a four screen uh, a monitor to cover the sides and the back and the front, but it just finally burned out. I'm not sure how long the lifespan of these things are. What I have here is uh, two screens, two screens. Uh, this is the front and the rear of my van, uh, the view from the front and the rear, and these are the view from the sides. Basically, I'm going to, and I can increase my security because when it's that, that uh, same size screen split four ways, you really can't get a good description of what exactly is, uh, is around you without focusing on a single screen or, or hitting the button and toggling through the screens. With this, I can see pretty much anybody that's coming up on either side of me. I've got some things I've got to cut here out of the way that is on the rear here. Um, but just want to give you a quick look. And as you see, I've got some interference over here. Um, I've got to work and figure out what that is. And I'll do that in time. If it never disappears, though, I still get a good shot and can see if there's anybody tinkering with my van or any police officers that might need my attention. And I want to make my attention as calm and non-threatening as possible. And it's always nice to know who's coming up, good guy or bad guy. And sometimes you can't really tell who the good guys and the bad guys are. Anyway, I just want to give you a quick look. This is the... You know, I just had to, to re... Uh, I'm trying to get everything together because it may be a period of time I will be living in here uh, exclusively in the near future when I retire. It takes a while to get your pension and everything rolling in. So I might just be be living uh, bare bones for a month or two, which is no big deal. I've done it for two, three, four months before the uh, pandemic hit, and I would still be doing it if the pandemic hadn't hit. I'd have been working all day and then just driving up to the one of the dozen, a dozen Walmarts around here or uh, other places I can park, and I'd be sitting there. And then every week or two, you guys know that, as I've described, if you've been watching my channel, I'm on call, and then I have to be somewhere where I'm sitting in the front of a, of a, of a computer for 8 to 14 hours. Now, that was the old thing. Because of the pandemic, now... I'm always, I've been in a hotel for that time because I've always got to be in front of that thing for eight to 10 hours. And then on those two weeks that I normally would have been planted in front of it, I have to be, uh, I have to be there for, uh, you know, on call or, or working second shift. So, uh, you know, so, but when I, when I get out of this job, which will probably not be in the very far flung future, uh, then I will I will have an opportunity to just rest and relax, wait for it, all my finances and stuff to balance out, then find me a little place somewhere out in the boondocks. Not too far out in the boondocks. I'll stay around this area because 95% of my family is around here. I don't keep only keep in contact with about 2 or 3% of them. I probably should correct that. Anyway, uh, I will uh, talk to you uh, later. Uh, Nothing much. Oh, yeah, I did add a little piece of furniture in the van. I bought this off of Amazon. Uh, I, I was hoping it would be able to fit my uh, the length of my uh, microwave perfectly. It doesn't. So I'm just going to say, well, I'm going to keep this microwave, give it to somebody else, and get a smaller one that'll fit in here, or just figure out another place to actually mount that microwave. And, you know, I'm in a I'm in an extended van, but I have a garage, and my garage is vertical, so I don't have a huge amount of space in here. So I'm just, uh, you know, probably it would not have been a bad idea. Well, part of my garage is underneath this bed, uh, but the containers underneath this bed, you, know, you might be able to see those, uh, those bins. So, uh, you know, I've got too much stuff in here to begin with, so I've got to thin out, and I have been thinning out, believe it or not. All right, uh, I'll just end this right here. I'll just show you. This is a quick look. I've been working on the external part of the van, which I will be doing again very soon. I have got to, uh, I've got a few more things to wrap up on the outside with my camo. Uh, I'm just going to put some, uh, tarp tape some around a few places not to tape the tarps up but to hold my little uh my little uh blinds in there in fact somebody offered to show me a way to make those mechanical type of uh 
ratchet type up type of blinds. I'm not sure if I'm going to go that far. It's, it's That's a whole lot of work for something I won't, hopefully I won't be using that often. But, uh, you know, and even though it's a little annoying to do the wrap up, it's pretty fast process the way I've got it geared up. And so uh, I've got to figure out if the annoyance of putting that together or the, uh, the, 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 uh, it would make good videos, but I don't make good videos anyway. So <laughs> now I'm hope I'm lying. I always underestimate myself, but I hope I'm, I hope I'm doing it this time. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. You have a wonderful day.